Well, aloha. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Paul Fletcher, and this is The Healing Source. This is the second in a 10 part series on what is referred to as the 10 Da. The 10 Da are the 10 greatest qualities or the 10 greatest attributes of the ways we can be human. Now, I went into significant more detail in the first in these series last week. So if you missed that, make sure you go back and watch it. You can, of course, subscribe to my podcast. Uh, I'm in Spotify and Amazon and, and Apple and all of them. Under uh, my podcast is called The Healing Source. And make sure you share as well. Uh, you know, there's just not enough people that are taking advantage of this information and wisdom that will literally change your lives. So go back and watch that if you haven't. Last week, I discussed the first of these 10 qualities, and it's called Da Ai. Da Ai is Mandarin Chinese for the greatest love. Why Mandarin Chinese? Well, each of these 10 qualities were coined or brought to humanity through a beautiful soul, my spiritual teacher. His name is Dr. and Master Ji Gang Sha. And Dr. and Master Sha is a world-renowned healer. He's a philanthropist. He's got over 30 books. If you're not familiar with him, make sure that you go to his website, drsha.com, and learn more. Now, Dr. Sha uh, works very closely with the source, always receiving guidance and information. And he utilizes that, that guidance, that wisdom, that information, and the healing uh, abilities that have been given to him through the source to help humanity. His only mission is to help humanity. And along those lines, he has received the guidance for the 10 greatest qualities that can literally cause a significant shift in humanity. His total mission would be to help uplift all of humanity and bring everyone to enlightenment. That's a pretty big task. So how do you go about that? It starts with changing the message uh, that is predominantly negative for quite a few people in humanity to a message that is predominantly positive. And that can be accomplished through these 10 qualities known as the 10 Da. Today, we're going to be focusing on Da Quan Shu, which translates to the greatest forgiveness. The greatest forgiveness is not a simple explanation and certainly nothing that I can cover with any degree of depth in this half hour. I have my, with my own business, Wellspring of Light, and you can find more on my website, wellspringoflight.com. But in my own business, I do practices every day, 30 minutes every day. And I do these practices in the healing field, calling forth all the beings of love and light, calling your soul, and we do practices. Well, this last two weeks, I have been focusing on these qualities. This week, as we speak, I am focusing on the greatest forgiveness. And yesterday, I did a presentation, a 30-minute healing session, if you will, with my students. And I will be posting that, by the way, later today in my YouTube channel. You can find me. Um, just type in YouTube Wellspring of Light and you will find me. And look for that specific YouTube that I'll be posting today. It'll be on forgiveness. And just in this one practice, let's see, I think I have some notes here. So yesterday's practice was on self-forgiveness this whole week. Like earlier, I was forgiveness with the source and our own soul. Yesterday was self-forgiveness. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be doing forgiveness in relationships. And then on Friday, I'll be doing forgiveness for opening the heart. Okay. But yesterday, when I, I just asked guidance, I said, okay, um, self-forgiveness, what should I focus on? And it gave me eight categories, including forgiveness for all the different ways we put ourselves down for our body, our looks, our weight, right? 
Then I went into uh, gentle forgiveness on relationships, all the different times that I beat myself up for being in the wrong relationship or staying in a relationship too long or choosing that person when I should have chose this person, whatever the case may be, not forgiving somebody uh, soon enough, et cetera. Okay. Then another category was putting myself down, right? It could be uh, that I did something at work and I put myself down. It could be that I made a mistake while driving and I put myself down. Uh, these are different forms of forgiveness. And a lot of us forget that there are three types of forgiveness. There is self-forgiveness, which is what we're explaining now. There is offering forgiveness and there is asking forgiveness. I'm going to do my best to cover all three uh, in a very small snippet of this time. Now, additionally, when it came to self-forgiveness, um, I, I worked with self-forgiveness on allowing others' opinions, judgments, criticisms into our own field. We very often diminish our own value, our own worth, because we allow others' thoughts, perspectives, criticism, et cetera, to be more important than our own. <clears throat> we give merit and value to it, and then we degrade ourselves. Okay, so I, I taught uh, and led students through a forgiveness practice for all those times that we have allowed those negative vibrations and information into our field from outside of us. Another category was forgiving myself for bad choices, okay? All the choices that I might have made. And as I was doing this practice with my students, and again, you're gonna be able to get access to this. I'm gonna make it free and available, even though it's a paid course that my students come uh, and, and, you know, they get this kind of wisdom and, and healing, you know, Monday through Friday, five days a week. Um, it's part of my membership, but uh, I'm going to make it free and available to you. And when I was doing this, uh, you know, I'm following guidance, I'm following flow as I'm speaking it out and we're all tracing the Da Quan Chu calligraphy, which I hopefully I'll have time to get it up today. And I was walking us through to forgive ourselves because everything that we have ever done, everything, that we, especially those things that we have judged as bad or wrong or wish I could have done it differently, they all absolutely were integral in bringing you to where you are today. You would not be near as intelligent, wise, strong, and aware of what you don't want unless you had done that. And all of those create a set of conditions where you're much more clear on what you do want, and that assists you to manifest what you do want. But we cannot get there if we don't forgive ourselves for what we have categorized as bad or wrong. We need to readjust that perspective, forgive ourselves for holding that incorrect perspective on it, and, uh, and judging those as um, not good for us, when in fact, they served us tremendously. Another category that, and all this, by the way, just came in flow. Heaven said, this is what you need to do self-forgiveness on. Another one was a lack of wisdom, right? Uh, how much time have you and myself wasted on um, waiting for uh, 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 waiting for this to happen or waiting for that to happen or not following our inner guidance, right? Not following our soul's guidance, not following our team in heaven. They're always talking to us. Most of the time, honestly, we hear it, but we allow our mind to get in the way and then we follow our mind's guidance. And this creates, of course, problems for us. So we did some self-forgiveness on not following our heart and instead following the monkey mind our fears, our worries, our doubts, and all of those things that tend to have controlled us the majority of our life. Now, the relevance and why I'm sharing this with you is because in, in the wisdom that heaven has brought through this teacher called Master Shah, because he takes no credit for inventing any of this, and certainly the things about love and forgiveness have been said before. The difference is the depth of comprehension and understanding of each of these qualities are explained significantly more and tools and techniques to help remove those negative messages, vibrations, and information from your soul, from your field, have been given to us. We'll be using some of those today. So when we practice with a higher level of understanding about forgiveness, we can start to realize that one of the most difficult uh, blockages within our aura, within our 
field is forgiveness issues. Because when we fail to give ourselves forgiveness, we keep our heart closed. We disallow abundance. We disallow loving relationships. We literally disallow all the things that we want in our life because we're holding on to preconceptions or belief systems or things that we have adopted or accepted as true from an earlier part in our life when we did not have the level of knowledge and wisdom that we have now. So when we do forgiveness and we acknowledge these things from the past and we forgive ourselves for holding on to them for this long and we bring our current wisdom into the moment and go backwards in time and forgive those things, forgive those people that we have resentment for, uh, anger towards, all the different times you've been hurt or thrown under the bus, all the anger and resentment you might have towards your parents, peers, school teachers, um, people that might have molested or abused you. Is it serving your soul journey? Is it serving your open heart? Is it benefiting you physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually in any way, shape, or form to stay in that state of consciousness where you're in, in blaming yourself or somebody else? Okay. I have given a visual description and it works every time because it's a very good visual description. If you can take today and look backwards and isolate or find 5, 10, 20 uh, experiences or people that remain in your headspace and they're constantly messing with you, keeping you in head loops, keeping you in negativity, you want to blame them. Basically, anything you put outside of yourself where somebody else's fault whether it's the boss that didn't give you a raise, whether it's your mom or dad that were horrible, whether it was the person that abused you, doesn't matter what your story is. We all have one. And the heavier that story or 20 stories for some of us, the more the visual I'm going to give you will make sense. In order to step forward free of this pain and suffering, you have to open your own self-made prison door. You've seen many movies where they, they grab the long metal bars and they, they pull it to the left and it goes, chi -chi 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 and it locks, right? And you have these 20 bars and you're inside the prison cell. Well, that's us. That's you and that's me when we refuse to forgive. So imagine yourself inside that prison cell. And you've got this story about this person, this story about that person, and this revenge, and that person, if they if they didn't do this, then you got your own stories. If I hadn't done this, if I hadn't done that, and all of those are all bars in your prison cell, and you are the one that went, J -j 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 and then you stand in there and you go, it's your fault, it's your fault, it's your fault. Sometimes you point at yourself, it's my fault for this, and it's my fault for that, I'm this, and I'm that, and I'm that, blah, blah, blah. And we are inside our own cell shaking the cage that we created. And it gets worse. We are saying that all of you outside of my prison cell, I have given you power and authority over me. You are responsible for my uh, my anger. You are responsible for my resentment. You are responsible for, for my lack of ABC. Or we blame ourselves. If I didn't do this, if I didn't do that. So we keep ourselves locked in our cage. Forgiveness is literally the key that breaks down every single one of those vertical barriers that you self-imposed. Forgiveness is the key. If you want to heal, you need to let go of all of the constructs that you have made, especially the false ones that are keeping you within this cage. If you want to heal, you must, must let go of the of the self-judgment, self-criticism, self-anything, because everything you've ever done has made you much, much stronger, better, wiser. So it all happened purposefully, and almost all of it probably happened so that you can clear up some old karma, some old negative information that needed to be cleared up. So thank goodness that's gone. Now you just need to redesign how you've categorized it and say it was all good for me. That dissolves some of your bars of your self-created cage. And the rest of them are the empowerment that you've given everybody outside of yourself. And you need to simply forgive them the same way. Now, I mentioned earlier, there are three types of forgiveness. 
There is self-forgiveness, which we've covered with a decent level of understanding. There is offering forgiveness and asking forgiveness. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk us through a healing meditation, uh, but we're going to be tracing calligraphy. So it'll be an open eye, a waking meditation. And I'm going to walk you through both offering and asking forgiveness while we work with the Tao source calligraphy of Da Quan Shu. Now, this is a podcast, so not everybody's going to be able to see like those that are live with me now. So for those that are on podcasts listening by audio, do know that I have, I have and will activate my healing transmissions, and I will ask the frequency and vibration, the healing frequency and vibration within Da Quan Shu Source Calligraphy to come to you and offer you blessings, so you will definitely receive this as well. And I want to acknowledge everybody who's joined me that's that's shown their names. Welcome, Charlene. Uh, welcome, Blackie. Welcome, um, Jen. And welcome, Ai Chi. And anybody else I haven't named, I haven't seen their name, welcome. Thank you. So I'm going to, let's see, share a screen here. And there we go. Uh, we're putting up, placing a visual called Da Quan Shu on the screen now. Now, Da Quan Shu is a calligraphy, and it means the greatest forgiveness. Within this uh, piece of art has been transmitted light and love healing frequencies. And when we connect to it, then those frequencies come to us. It's, I simply cannot explain. So if you're very new, never heard this for the first time, go back to my very first three podcasts. It's fully explained there. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to touch all five fingers together and start following the lines. We'll go around in a circle three times, and then we drop down in and follow the lines of Da Quan Chu. And I will walk you through both asking and offering forgiveness. So let us start by tracing three times. And then silently, if you connect to the words, then repeat them after me. And dear, the source calligraphy of Da Quan Chu for the greatest forgiveness. Dear the soul of the highest love and light frequencies and those from the heavenly realms serving through this sacred art. I love, honor, and appreciate you. I humbly ask at this time for your blessings to release the negative messages I've given myself or have accepted from others, especially those that have blocked my heart those that I have held messages about a lack of forgiving myself. Please bless me to open my heart and completely forgive myself for anything I've ever said negatively to myself about myself or anything that I've accepted from others that degrades my value and my worth. Thank you. And dear the soul of all the beings of love and light coming through this source. Could you also please bless me to ask forgiveness and offer forgiveness? <clears throat> please bless me to understand that many of the unpleasant experiences that people have done towards me in this and any time may have occurred because in this time or another time, I or my ancestors, we could have harmed them first and were literally in the other end of a boomerang. In other words, I might have initiated the unpleasant experience that I had. And if I have not initiated it, if I was simply the victim on the receiving end of somebody being mean, somebody being not nice, I do not wish to block my heart anymore. I do not wish to close my heart and close my prison cell around me. I do not wish to blame somebody outside of me for my lack of happiness. I wish now to take responsibility for my life, my wellness, for my happiness. I wish to forgive. I understand that it is not okay what somebody did. It's not okay that they hurt me. It's not okay that they abused me. It's not okay that they took from me. 
none of that is okay. But it's also not okay for me to lock myself inside my prison cell and blame them for my lack of happiness, my lack of abundance, blame them for my lack of love. That gives them power and that's not okay also. So I ask you, my beloved source, to please help release these old patterns, these old messages. Please bless me to forgive those souls because I no longer want this negative message in my heart and I don't want to have to create a boomerang balance in the future. I don't want to have to harm this person in the future to make it even. I don't want that negative message in my field at all. So bless me to completely forgive. Bless me to completely release. Bless me to take responsibility for my wellness. And now I'm going to chant Da Kuan Chu, greatest forgiveness. Continue to trace. And again, those listening on audio are receiving all the blessings as if you were here live. Da Kuan Chu. 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 Greatest forgiveness. 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 Da Quan Chu. 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 Now we also need to be able to ask forgiveness. I don't know about you, but I have absolutely been far from perfect. I am sure that I have had negative thoughts about people. I am confident that I have been quite critical of people, even if it's just in my mind. But quantum physics explains that when I have a negative thought about someone, I am literally entangled with their vibration. That would be a negative quantum entanglement. And when I have a positive thought about someone, I have a positive quantum entanglement. I want to remove from my vibration any negative entanglements. And Da Quan Chu, the greatest forgiveness, assists me with that. It helps to rapidly dissolve these negative entanglements. So to all humanity, to all animals, to all souls and all time, I sincerely, from the depths of my heart, ask your forgiveness for any negative thought I have ever had towards you, your loved ones, your ancestors. I am confident I have spoken negative words. I deeply apologize those negative words. They could have caused you to have depression or anxiety. Those negative words could have created fear or worry in your, in your aura field. Those negative words could have created in you such depth of despair that it could have led to your physical suffering. I deeply apologize any words in all time that I've said to anyone, anywhere in time, if it has created any form of suffering for you at all, I am so sorry. 
and actions. There's no doubt I have made some poor actions in this life and probably other ones. And if those actions have harmed you physically, emotionally, spiritually, if those actions have affected your relationships, your finances, your business, if I have harmed you in any way by my thoughts, words, or actions, and it has in any way affected your life on any level negatively, from the depths of my heart, I deeply apologize. I am significantly more aware and awake now, and I do my best to always speak and think and act in a positive manner, certainly much wiser than I used to be, but now I recognize that my field and your field may have some negative entanglement, and I would be deeply grateful with greatest, greatest love and gratitude, if you could find a way to forgive me, I'm so sorry these mistakes. And to this and any time you have been in these same ways towards me, if you've ever spoken or thought or, or offered wrong action towards me, I can now see that you're human too. I've made some huge mistakes and so have you. So I forgive you unconditionally and I humbly ask your unconditional forgiveness. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Now we're going to chant a mantra for about two minutes. And then we're going to wrap up. It's called, I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. And my teacher, I just literally just flowed to him one day. And we started chanting. And it's such a beautiful thing to do, especially when you're beating up on yourself. Or when you just need to open your heart more. So let's chant this for two minutes. I forgive you. You forgive me. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Last round. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Wonderful. So in conclusion, <clears throat> these 10 greatest qualities each have an extremely depthful wisdom to them. And if we simply worked with actualizing them, consistently, there literally is not a part of your world that will not improve. And the reason why is because when we have a lack of love, when we have a lack of forgiveness or compassion, when we are not filled with light, or when we have too much ego, not enough humility, when we are disharmonious in our thoughts, words, or actions, we lack flourishing, we lack enlightenment. When we are these ways, we also lack gratitude. And we are unable to do the natural thing in our life, which is to serve. And each one of these, love, forgiveness, compassion, light, humility, harmony, uh, gratitude, service, all of these lead to a uh, pathway to the source, enlightenment. And they're cute words, but nobody actually spends time with them on a consistent basis every day doing specific things to actualize greater love in their life. 
and ensuring that whatever's happening in our thoughts, words, and actions are minimized. And then the next week, they don't focus on forgiveness for their self and others and asking forgiveness. They just see the cute words and go their own way and run back into the grind of life and then wonder why they're suffering two weeks later. So my encouragement to you is to take this series, this 10 Da series, and literally commit to one week at a time. This week is the greatest forgiveness. Spend time from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed, whenever you become consciously aware of you putting yourself down or saying or speaking negative things to others or yourself, do your forgiveness. This will eliminate the vibration from your field and this allow new negative vibrations in your field. By focusing on each one of these qualities week after week, it's highly unlikely you will not be doing much, much better at the end of this 10 DA series. This is my encouragement to you. This is not a, a, a one-off practice. This is a life choice that will change the trajectory of the blueprint of your life. And it's as simple as the, the application of these 10 qualities on a conscious basis moment to moment as you possibly can. And granted, we have a lot of moments that can challenge the ability to stay in those right stasis. This is also why I recommend that you learn more about my program, The Wellspring of Light, because the entire program is all about in, in, in encompassing your soul with a constant high frequency. I do healing for you every day in my membership program. I offer a healing for you Monday through Friday, 30 minutes. We do exactly this in the healing field. And I could be focusing on your chakras. I could be focusing on releasing heart blockages. I could be focusing on healing relationships. Sometimes it's for your liver, your heart, your spleen, your lungs, your kidneys. There are many different things that I do and you have access to it live and recordings. And then I also work with people on an individual basis. The fastest way to heal is to transform the negative to positive. The fastest way to do that is to engulf yourself in positive vibration. The Dow Calligraphy Healing Field creates that, and my Wellspring of Life program will give you that uh, service. So go to my page, wellspringoflight.com, to learn more. I will be back here next week when we focus on the third of these 10 qualities, Da Tzu Bei which is the greatest compassion. And I encourage all of you this week, catch yourself with your negative thoughts, words, and actions towards self or others and instantly ask forgiveness, offer forgiveness, and you will find yourself feeling much, much lighter. So until next week, have an awesome day, everybody. Bye-bye.